Hey, it's Melissa from All the Book Love. I'm joining you today with the bookshelf scavenger hunt tag. This was originally created by the Library of Sarah several years ago, but it's been popping up on my feed lately, so I thought I would jump in and do it. Sounds like a lot of fun. There are 19 questions, so I'm basically going to read the question, hold up the book, and move on. My questions are on my phone, so I'm going to be reading off of that. First question is, find an author's name or title with the letter Z. Now my books are organized alphabetically, so this is actually really easy. Elsewhere by Gabriel Zevin. The second one says, find a classic. Got this big old complete works of William Shakespeare. It's huge. No, I've not read the entire thing. The third question is, find a book with a key on it. Ooh. Going with The Archived by Victoria Schwab. The fourth question is to find something on your bookshelf that is not a book. I'm going to go with my Talk Nerdy to Me sign that sits on one of the corners of one of my bookshelves. Question 5 says, find the oldest book on your shelf. The oldest book I have is Baseball Stars of 1965. It was published in March of 1965. I have no idea why I have this book. I think it was originally given to me for my classroom, and obviously none of my kids want to read about Baseball Stars in 1965, so it got moved to my home library. Question number 6, find a book with a girl on the cover. Hmm. I'm going to go with Wicked by Gregory Maguire. Technically, Elsa is on the inside of the cover, but you can see her from the front cover, so I'm going to say the scouts. Next question is find a book with an animal in it. I'm going to go with the Animal series by K.A. Applegate. These were my favorite books in middle school, elementary school, something. Next question is find a book with a male protagonist. I'm going to go classic with this one and call Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling, obviously. Cool stories told by Harry's point of view. Next question is find a book with only words on it. I'm assuming this means the cover. I'm going to go with When We Collided by Emery Lord. Next question is find a book with illustrations in it. This will be pretty easy because I have an entire shelf of comic books. I'm going to go with fairy tale comics. As you can see, the entire book is pictures, which makes it wonderful. The next question is, find a book with gold lettering. This one was a little bit trickier, but I found The Tommyknockers by Stephen King. The next question is, find a diary, true or fictional? Of course, I have tons of these in my classroom, but I'm going to go with The Shade of the Moon by Susan Beth Pfeffer. The next question is, find a book written by somebody with a common name, like Smith. For this question, I'm going to go with Lockdown by Alexander Gordon Smith. The next question is, find a book that has a close-up of something on it. For this question, I picked The Body in the Woods by April Henry. You can see a close-up of a body in the woods. Next question is, find a book on your shelf that takes place in the earliest time period. Hmm. For this question, I chose the book King Arthur, which takes place in medieval times. The next question is to find a hardcover book without a dust jacket. For this, I'm going to go with the Ultimate Guide to Percy Jackson and the Olympians. As you can see, hardcover, no dust jacket. The next question is to find a teal or turquoise colored book. For this one, I'm going to go with the Illustrated Stories from Shakespeare. The cover is kind of teal and lots of other colors, but mostly teal. The next question is to find a book with stars on it. I'm going to cheat a little bit on this one, and I found a book that has the stars of the Hunger Game trilogy on the cover. The last question is to find a non-YA book. For this question I chose The Runaway Jury by John Grisham. And that's it for this tag. Um, I wasn't tagged by anybody and I don't really have anybody to tag so if you want to do this tag then consider yourself tagged. How many times can I say the word tag in one sentence? So as always thanks for watching. Bye!